Throughout history, the Northern Lights have inspired great interest and fear among mankind. During the Viking period, Northern Lights were referred to as reflections of dead maidens. In Finland, there is an old belief that Northern Lights are made by a fox's tail sweeping the snow on the hills. Consequently, the Finnish word for the Northern Lights means fox fires. Sami people, the indigenous peoples of Lapland, believed that Northern Lights had some kind of power over them. It was believed that if one whistled under the Northern Lights, the sound would make them approach you. The Sami also believed that one should be particularly careful and quiet when being observed by the Northern Lights. Mocking the Northern Lights or singing about them was believed to be particularly dangerous and could cause the lights to descend on the mocker, even with fatal consequences. Similar types of legends can be found all over the world where the Northern Lights can be seen. Extraordinary Northern Lights have also fascinated numerous scientists all over the world. One of them is Esa Durunen, a physicist specialized in studying the Northern Lights. He works at the Geophysical Observatory of Sodangula in Finnish Lapland. For more than 20 years, he has observed and studied this phenomenon known as the Aurora Borealis. The Northern Lights is an electric rain into the atmosphere and the atmosphere in turn is glowing in the light of Northern Lights. We see the same phenomenon in city lights, in the neon lights. Now our sun is sending huge amounts of particles, electric particles into the space. These are called electrons. The electrons travel with huge speeds. However, it takes a few days for the electrons to travel to the near Earth space. The Earth has a magnetic field. If you imagine that my fist is now the Earth, the magnetic field extends into the space and prevents these particles flowing directly to the Earth. They go around and we are living in a magnetic bottle. Now, when Sun is sending more of these electrons, the magnetosphere is disturbed, and from shadow side of the Earth, from here, from equator level, we get particles flying, guided by magnetic field lines, and they hit the atmosphere in a ring-shaped zone. Northern lights can be seen at dark times of the year, in the polar regions of the Earth, in the so-called Northern Lights Zone, which is located around two to 3,000 kilometers from the Earth's magnetic poles. Occasionally, the disturbances of space weather are greater and this halo expands. It is then the Northern Lights can be seen in more southern areas. In Northern Scandinavia, Northern Lights can be seen approximately every other night. If we go further south, Northern Lights become much rarer. A few times in a decade, Northern Lights can appear in Central Europe. Now there's an observation statistically that the Northern Lights are more probably seen in the spring and autumn times. So what matters really for an individual observer is the weather. The sky should be clear, there should be no clouds, and I think you would need to reserve something like three to five days in order to really have a chance to see the Northern Lights. So we could state that you always need to have some luck if you really want to see the Northern Lights. Northern Lights appear in a variety of colors, although yellowish green is probably the most common color. But why do the colors change? The most common color of Northern Lights is green light, which is emitted by atomic oxygen in the air. Now when this atomic oxygen is excited in a collision by an electron, this uh, energy state which emits later the green light, it normally lasts only for a fraction of a second. However, the same atom can also be excited to an energy state which lasts for almost two minutes. And then when this excitation is releasing energy, we see red light. The human eye can sometimes see other colors within the northern lights, like violet or blue while measuring equipment is able to find tens of different spectral lines of light. Some observers claim to have heard a hissing, swishing or crackling noise while observing the northern lights. Since the distance between the lights and the observer mostly exceeds 100 kilometers, the existence of these noises is often regarded as questionable. Now one possibility could be 
that in fact these are electromagnetic waves which are then transformed somehow into audible sound near to the observer in some obstacles like um, the hair or clothes or even inside the ear. Just now the latest research however shows some evidence about possible existence of these sounds. So we are currently making investigations of this phenomenon. With or without sounds, northern lights are one of nature's greatest phenomena. They enchant the viewer time and time again. I've been now here at Sedangula for more than 20 years making research about northern lights. And of course I could not calculate for how many nights did I see the northern lights. However, I still find the lights very fascinating. So, every single clear night, I still go out and watch the, for the skies, even when I'm not in the duty. Maybe my friends, not the lights, would appear there. Well, people do normally remember their most beautiful northern lights they've seen. So do I too. When I was a young student, one late night I went for jogging, and the northern lights came up in the sky, and then suddenly I saw the most beautiful shape the corona, the crown of northern lights, which can fill the whole sky. Then the rays seem to originate from one single point, the rays move very rapidly and even the colors change. Well, this normally lasts for the observer only for some tens of seconds and this is the most beautiful shape. Of course, every single observation of the crown of northern lights is a very unique experience. As a researcher of Northern Lights, I really do hope that everybody would have a chance, at least once in a lifetime, to see really good active Northern Lights. So I wish everybody welcome to Lapland and all the Northern areas where you could see the Northern Lights, nature's most beautiful color display.